So hi Venkat, welcome to Copenhagen. Uh, welcome to this great conf edition, this ninth edition. How are you feeling here? Oh, it's great to be here. I love this conference, love the community. It's, um, I can't ask for anything better. It's awesome. Have you ever been here before? I have actually, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're repeating this year, you're repeating with, with two talks, the keynote and uh, GPAR's talk, right? That's right. It's, it's been fun. Yep. How, how it was? The whole experience this year. Uh, I, I think we should ask the attendees, but from my point of view, it, it was a lot of fun, absolutely. The, the keynote, you were talking about this, uh, all these good practices when coding. Um, I don't know if for a developer, for a software developer who's actually uh, applying those practices, uh, who has already read those agile things, agile books. I don't know if uh, what's the next for him. I don't know what's or for her. What's the what are the next steps for him to to take? Uh, I think one of the challenges I see is you know organizations are trying to adopt agile development, and when they do, you know they go after things like Scrum or whatever the process is. And one of the frustrations I've had over the years is, like, I work with a lot of different clients, mm -hmm. and when I walk in, they would say, "Oh, we want you to know we are we are agile." And I would say, I'm so glad we got that out of the way. Let's talk about what you actually do. And it turns out a lot of organizations are focused on taking the Agile methodology. But I, I see Agile as kind of like two wheels of a car, uh, two front wheels of a car. If they're not aligned, you're not going to be able to move forward. And so the management has to align with the developers, and the developers have to align with the management. And this is one of the tensions, you know, I always, I used to think, that programmers got everything and the management didn't. I've been proven wrong over the past few years. And it's, it's a combination of the two. And uh, there are a few practices which I call as agile, sustainable agile technical practices. For example, if I make a change to a code, how do I know that the code actually works? Mm -hmm. Because we constantly modify the code. And a lot of organizations who are even into automated testing, they start using UI level automation, which I consider to be pathway to hell because it's really hard to get uh, rapid feedback and sustainable feedback through that. So the automated testing has to be at various different levels. Uh, having code quality is extremely important. If the code is of not good quality, it becomes unmaintainable. How could you be agile, meaning responding to change, when your code is of very poor quality? So a lot of times we focus on the agile management practices but we, as developers, are probably the only people who know the consequences and the impact of code quality, automation, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, continuous integration. A lot of these things are very technical in nature. And if the technical people don't do the right things at the technical level, no amount of effort by the organization at the management level is going to give us the results. So I think that's why these two alignment has to come together. We want the management to be adaptive. And I see that a lot, lot of organizations lacking that. Mm -hmm. They're saying, we've fixed the schedule, we've fixed the budget, now we want to be agile. And, and one of my, uh, probably my most um, infamous uh, tweets ever, <laughs> one that got retweeted probably the most, was I said that um, I've set the wedding date I haven't asked her out yet. This is how projects are managed. And I think it's important for organizations to be adaptive at the management level. It's important on the same note for technical people to be really focusing on technical practices to attain sustainability. We can't survive with one or the, without one or the other. We need both. You're currently uh, reading, uh, sorry, writing another book. But I don't know if it's concerning about uh, this Agile thing you're talking about. It's about programming. I, I wrote a book on Agile development years ago, but I, I'm a technical guy. I, I'm not a big uh, thing on management practices. I don't really have much passion for it. I'm a programmer. I like coding. And over the years, my uh, emphasis shifts around. So a couple of years ago, I was speaking on uh, automated testing for JavaScript, got really excited about uh, what programmers were interested in. So my previous book was on automated testing JavaScript. That really drew me closer to JavaScript. I know that can be a little scary. So my, the book I'm working on currently is on ES6 and uh, showing uh, useful features in ES6. So I'm working mostly with JavaScript these days, writing a book on JavaScript. 
Uh, you know, I try to shift different, different languages and technologies over time. My passion is in learning and providing value for the clients. I'm not attached to a language or a particular technology. Um, so right now I'm working on JavaScript and I'm probably for the next couple of years, I would focus on books related to JavaScript, some one way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, one last question, when are we seeing you again? Well, you tell me, uh, I'll be here when, when the conference wants me to be here. But I mean, next conferences you have in your schedule? I, I'm heading over to Munich uh, tomorrow to speak in a conference there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just hopping around different parts of the world. Okay, we'll keep an eye on you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. <laughs>